This is the Transformers Generations Titans Return Legends class Bumblebee. The figure is part of the third wave of the Titans Return Legends class series of figures. Here is the packaging. Very, very G1 looking robot. But the alt mode kind of looks like a Chevy. Kind of like, kind of looks like the alt mode of Revenge of the Fallen Mud Flap. Kind of. I don't know. Somebody tell me what it's based off of. It's it got a spoiler. It's not a completely hatchback. It's a small, like a Suzuki Swift or that. I don't know. Like a Suzuki, whatever. So, non branded car mode. No, he does not come with a pistol. This is from the uh, robots in disguise. The Transformers Prime robots in disguise. Or, sorry, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters, Shadow, Shadow Command, or Shadow Stalker Bumblebee. I can't remember. The black, the grayish black Bumblebee. So, we'll put that off the side. Although it does fit him nicely, um, it's a nice option uh, for Bumblebee if you want to put a gun on him. So, very, very G1 esque look looking, uh, especially the head sculpt. The body, unfortunately, kind of looks like uh, from the from the torso to the legs, he kind of looks very G1. But the arms and some bits of the feet kind of makes him look like a throttle bot. Kind of. I don't know. Uh, I wish they could have streamlined the arms so that it's not too clunky with all these kibble. I wish there was a way to fold these or to just retain them here or something. But then that would ruin the silhouette of the torso. It's a very, very difficult mold to play around with. And um, I'm not sure. Did Bumblebee have black? I thought he had yellow forearms and, and black grayish hands I, I don't know but it, it just it's the colors are very off-putting i'm sure takara tomi will have a much better color representation of this figure another point of annoyance is this the the feet they don't really lock into place with the knee or the or the shin so that when you try to bend the knee uh the feet just transform back uh, i wish there was a way to just completely lock it something like this this the right leg sort of kind of stay the foot stays in place for you to swing the knee back and forth but for the left leg um it, it, it it's kind of difficult because it, it loves to detach itself there was a way that this thing just tabbed into a small hole or notch right there yeah but other than that uh he's actually a fun fun figure to play around with no waist articulation he's got a swivel neck ball jointed shoulders with a swivel extra shoulder ball jointed Elbow, ball jointed hips, again the hinge knee, and a bit of the foot articulation because of transformation. Colors, uh, if you're okay with mismatching yellow colors, then he's okay. Because the, the yellow plastic that they use, they use two different yellow plastic. This one is more of a canary yellow, this one is more of a lemon yellow as you can see in the camera. And then this is clear plastic. This is like smoked clear plastic that they painted yellow on it. So it's like a pale yellow, lemon yellow, and canary yellow. Which, and even this one is just the regular. The head is made of the regular yellow. So that's, that's horrible. Really, Hasbro. And I'm sure, I'm hoping Takara does a better job with this one. Because even in the camera, you can already see the different gradations or shades of yellow that this guy has. Which is not even close to the bumblebee yellow that we're so used to. Come on, Hasbro. This is the head sculpt is the closest one there is, I think. But, um, silhouette-wise and transformation-wise, he kind of is a G1 bumblebee. So, speaking of G1 bumblebee or generation bumblebee or chugger bumblebee, this is the Reveal the Shield bumblebee. Uh, he's a deluxe class, but he's a, a little bit big to scale with the other deluxe class Generations figures. He's in perfect size. Although I actually do like this one the best for a Minicon. Bumblebee was a Minicon and not a Minicon, a mini bot. My, 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 my bad. But uh, this one has been my Bumblebee for my chugger shelf as well as this one for the longest time. And something in the middle, I think is a very, very welcome um, addition to the generation shelf especially for bumblebee so 
uh, in size comparison, here he is with the Titan, Titan Master. This is um, Highbrow's Titan Master. I forgot his name. We'll keep him there because we'll need to put him inside uh, Bumblebee just before we completely close him in car mode. So you've got articulation, sculpt is okay, paint apps, eh. Um, let, let's get him transformed. So first thing you want to do is you want to just detach this part. The first time I tried to do this, I detached it this way. And I was like, okay, what's the next step? And the instruction sheets was like, it's, it's again, because of the gray scale, it, it, it's very difficult to see, especially if you're like me with poor eyesight. Uh, it's very difficult to see how you do it. So this was the first time I did it, and you're not supposed to do that. Uh, luckily, it's not on a pin joint, it's on a friction joint. So first thing you wanna do is lift up the head a little bit so you can detach the chest or the torso piece, and you can fold it out like that. Incidentally, he also comes with the Collector card, some specs, I suppose. Oh, I would think speed would be his highest, but it's intelligence. It's the highest and very little firepower strength. Okay, we'll keep him there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Second step, you just unfold this, and you can already see where the Minicon is going to go. Um... And then the instructions say just lift it up. What you have to do is lift up this hinge joint. It's a double hinge joint, and then you have to fold it back like that. So just to give it more space, just to give the arms more space to collapse. Okay, the shoulders to collapse. So align the forearms like that, and just be ready to transform the arms. Just keep it there. For the legs, uh, just it, it's very simple. It, it kind of collapses like a... Uh, Combiner Wars um, joint, but uh, just keep it like that. Don't do anything. Don't don't collapse it all the way. Just leave it there. This is instructions to say to do it last, but you, you can if you want to do it simultaneously. So um, this is how the car is shaping out to be. I just want to show you where the Minicon fits. There's like uh, for the peg holes, those two pegs right there. I suppose let's see and he fits in there nicely and then you can just go ahead and this is a little bit tricky um, there is a way to completely collapse it make sure the head is pointed is, is facing straight there's a you'll hear a clicking sound with the shoulder joints collapsing into that shoulder panel same thing here once you've done that then you're good to go and then you collapse this whole uh, roof section with the, the rest of the trunk section and that back bumper part. And there you go. To remove the Minicon, you can always just pop the, the, the boot up and then you can pull out the Minicon. Or the Titan Master. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit of a puzzle forming transformer. And then uh, there's no... Oh, there is a tab right here for you to, to join it. it it's not like a tight tab you can do this one first okay okay and then do the second one do the other foot next just make sure you tab that that, that peg right there into that hole you should be good to go come on man Okay, and there he is. This is that compact mini coupe, mini car, which kind of reminds me of a mini Cooper, but it's not. It's like a Suzuki, but it's not. Kind of like a Chevy Spark, Chevy Jolt, Chevy. No idea. Anyway, so there he is. Uh, it rolls okay. Mini car, the Titan Master fits nicely. Here he is with Wheelie. So it's a good, good scale. Uh, and there you go. Uh, and there you go, folks. Um, a little bit disappointing. I was really looking forward to it. The colors and so. I was hoping I could give it a 10 out of 10, but I can't. Maybe an 8.5. That's being generous, I know. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers Generations Titans Return Legends Class Bumblebee. Should have been more 
like a beetle. Thanks for watching.